In Barotsi floodplain, Zambia, poverty and malnutrition are endemic. People subsist on a range of activities, including fishing, farming, and the running of small businesses. Savings and internal lending communities, or SILKs, were established to increase smallholder farmers and business people's access to finance. How much is that? The idea of SU came about after we had been hit by drought in the 1997 when we were distributing foodstuffs to the people in the Balosi and we came to learn that uh, people do not engage much into agriculture and they are finding it difficult. So we introduced savings and loans so that people can access funds from their group so that they can invest in agriculture. Without the benefit of formal banking, borrowing money to invest in inputs for these activities is difficult at best and nearly impossible for women. Through the CGIAR Research Program on Aquatic Agricultural Systems, or AAS, silks have combined a strong model for savings and a gender transformative approach with the goal of improving women's access to productive assets. In the SUIC meeting, they talk about agriculture, where they teach each other sharing of ideas. They also discuss gender issues, gender issues related to things that are happening between both sexes. During SILK meetings, Trained facilitators lead additional discussion sessions on gender-related topics, including men's involvement in caregiving, substance abuse, and husbands and wives working as a team. This is known as Silk Plus Gender Transformative Approach, or GTA. <laughs> As of March 2015, 63 silk groups have saved nearly 28,000 US dollars. 20 of these are silk plus GTA groups. Savings are primarily invested in small business endeavors, such as buying and selling fish and other food products, or purchasing seeds for vegetable gardening. Profits gleaned after loans are repaid with interest can be used to improve members' standard of living. AAS is conducting research to investigate the efficacy of Barotsi Silk and Silk plus GTA groups in improving income and opportunity, with special recognition of gender transformative change as a means of promoting long-lasting gains for poor men and women of the region.